Okay, now what is it we're trying to do? We want to talk about flows in network. So what is a flow? We assign to every edge another number. That other number is a non-negative value. We put a value on every edge. The value is non-negative, greater or equal to zero, and it cannot exceed the capacity. So think about oil going through a pipe. You don't have to put oil in that pipe, so you could put zero. But you can't exceed the capacity of the pipe with the amount that you put in there. OK, so a non-negative assignment of values, a value on every edge in my network. But there's got to, these assignments have to satisfy some conservation laws. The f amount leaving the source has got to equal the amount coming into the sink. So how much is leaving the source? 45 on the vertical edge, 38 on the sort of horizontal edge, and 16 on the edge kind of tilted down to the bottom? What's that total? 45 plus 38 plus 16? You're supposed to, 99? OK. So there are 99 units leaving the source. OK, now look over at the sink. 13 plus 2 plus 84. 15 plus 84 is 99. And 99 come into the sink. Now, look at any intermediate vertex. Like, look at vertex B. The requirement is the amount coming into B has got to exactly equal the amount going out from B. So how much comes in to B? I see edges, well, there's 0 on 1. 24 and 38 come in. Oh, and there's another edge coming in. Notice the edge from A to B is really a sort of right to left in the picture. That's OK. You're not wedded to the picture. Think data. So the amount coming into A is uh, 24 plus 38, which uh, is uh, 62, right? OK, 62 units come into A. How much goes out of A? Uh, look at the edges going out from A. I see a 15 and a 47. 15 plus 47 is 62. OK. So the conservation law, amount in equals amount out, is satisfied at vertex B. You look at the picture and verify that it's satisfied at all the other intermediate vertices as well. In order to be a flow, all these conservation laws have to be valid. Some of these are, are pretty easy. If you look at F, for example, in the upper right corner, F has 13 in and 13 out. OK, are you all satisfied that the conservation law holds at every vertex here? Now, notice that the source and the sink are, are unique. There's nothing coming into the source. There's nothing leaving the sink. So there's no notion of amount in equals amount out. The, the amount in equals the amount out is the conservation law at all the vertices other than the source and sink. Okay. <clears throat>